بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله حمدا كثيرا طيبا مباركا فيه إخواني في الله we have come a long way we have a lot to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for and yesterday we were taking fit al if the wow Al-Jama'ah gets connected to it. Oh, Ya Al-Mu'annath Al-Mukhatabah. Uh, and yesterday we looked at the Huruf Al-Illa Min Haythiyatin Ukra from a different vantage point. In this word, what does Haythu mean? Haythu is a, is a, is a dharf, dharf makan, Haythu. You know, so, jalastu Haythu. What does that mean? Jalastu Haythu Salaytu. Right, so now we're going to look at from a different aspect. From a different way about. We're not just going to look at it that it's uh, Maldi. We're going to look at it if it just ends with an Aleph. Whether it's Maldi or Mudar. That's what we did yesterday. We So we recognize that there's a comparison between Mudar, Afwan, Masha, Masha, even though that's Madara and that is Maldi, Masha is Maldi, but Yaruda is Madara, when they end with an Aleph, and that's what we're doing, we're doing with Nakis, it's going to be Mashao, wa Yarudao. Naam. If it's Shaka, it's going to be Shakao, and if Nasiya, it's going to be Yansauna, Shakao, Yansauna. Naam. Tayyip. We also want to keep in mind that the word radiya, when nasiya, when lakiya, when the wild jama'a comes to it, the ya is going to get dropped. But we have a we have a problem with this kesra radiya. We have a problem with this kesra, even though we drop the ya, we drop the half al illa because of wild jama'a radiya. We're going to drop the yeah, we have this wow, but now this kesra is difficult to pronounce. We're going to change it to a what? We're going to change it to a dhamma, because the dhamma is suitable to what? To the wow. It's going to be radu. But this one ended with a ya, radu ya. But the same thing in the Madonna, when it ends with a, with a ya, like yem shi, na'am, wa yakudi, na'am. When it ends with a ya, when we want to add wawa jama'a, it's like who are yamshi. When we say, when we want wawa jama'a, we want wawa jama'a, yamshi. When we drop that wow, yamshi, 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 we're going to drop that ya and put the wow that we have a kasra here, yamshi. We have a kasra. So just like we said, rodu, we have to say yamshu. Nah. We're looking at it from a haythiyat and okra. We're looking from a different aspect now. We're not looking just a Maldi and just a Maldi. We're looking, if it ends with an Aleph, this is where it goes. If it ends with a Ya, this is the way it goes. Because we're dealing with Nakas. It doesn't matter what's ahead of it. We're dealing with Nakas. What does Nakas mean? Harf al illa at the end. Forget what's it. Harf al we don't even care if it's Maldi or Maldi. We're looking at the end product. Okay? Now, when we have Barakallah fikum. Barakallah fikum. When we have Yamshi and we had a wow, it's going to be Yamshu. It changes. But when we have Yedu, it's already a dumb minute. Yedu. When we add the wow, it's going to be Yedu. It doesn't change at all. Because we add a ya, we add in a, uh, a a wow to it. The word is Huwa Yedu. Huwa Yedu. Hiya. There's a wow there from Asli Kalima Dawa. When we write the out the wow of Jama'a, we're going to drop that first wow. But we don't have to do anything with any other letter because it's already a dhamma. Hum yadu'una. Hum yadu'una. Walakin. We're going to have a problem with what? Ya al mu'annaf al mukhatiba. Anti tadhabina. Anti tatakalamina, anti tamshina. Okay? When this yadu, when we drop that wow, we put that yada, we got a dhamma. 
هو انت ام هو يدعو يوم انت تفعلين بيقول عادش يا وي هاف انت تدعين تدعوين so now this dhamma we're going to have to make it a kasra انت تدعين انت تدعين so you're going to be like هو يدعو انا ادعو نحن ندعو انت تدعين why because that ya we replaced the wow of the ya but now that dumb is not sufficient it's not so okay. but now we have two examples left on that and then we're going to go into a new chapter so let's just look at these two last examples here on the pdf the number 14 and 15 on the pdf is the same word it's the same word <clears throat> From Radia, from Yarda. Okay. So I want you to understand what we're doing. I want you to visualize the thicker, the difficulty, the heaviness in it. I don't want you to memorize the rule. If it's a this, and if it's that, and if it's that, and if the mahfuf is a alif, if the mahfuf is a wow, and you can read that and understand it. You don't have to memorize it. But I want you to just perceive and look and see that, wow, if I'm adding a wow, I need something equivalent to a wow. If I'm adding a ya, a mu'anif and muqataba, I need something equivalent to the ya. Yeah. You understand that? Okay. Brothers and sisters online, how are we doing? And we have a lot of practice ahead of us. We have a lot of practice ahead of us. Qadr Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, ya Fatima. This hadith is a very beautiful hadith. Qalat aqbalat Fatima wa mashiyatuha la tukhti'u an mashiyati Rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We were sitting, we said, we were wives of the Prophet, we were with the Prophet, all his wives, they were in the house with the Prophet, and Fatima started approaching. And the way she walks is no different from the way that the Prophet walked, had the exact same walk. So the Prophet said, Marhaban. The Prophet sat her down next to him. Uh -huh. And he whispered to her. And when he whispered to her, she cried a heavy cry. And then he whispered her to her again. He whispered to her again. And she laughed. So Aisha waited till the Prophet died and said, Now I'm going to ask you, what did the Prophet you know, tell you at that time? I didn't want to ask why the prophet's alive, but now that he passed away, I'm I'm the I'm the mother of the believers. I'm asking you what he said. Um, so Fatima told her the prophet said to me that Jibril used to read the Quran to me one time every year. The whole Quran is read it one time every year. This year he read it two times, and I don't think except that my death is very close. Uh -huh. So she said, that's the cry that you saw me cry. Mm -hmm. Now, this rest of the hadith is explaining why she laughed. That's where we're at. It's the end of the hadith. Father Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Ya Fatima, Ama tarudayna an takuni sayyidati nisa'il mu'mineen or sayyidati nisa'i hadihil umma. What does that mean, Ya Abdul Sabah? يا فاطمة أما ترضينا أما ترضينا أن تكوني that you will be you will be there's no with أن تكوني سيدة the 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 one in charge سيدة سيدة نساء المؤمنين like you are the leader of all the Muslim or Sayyida Nisa Ihadihil Ummah. The same meaning. Meaning in the hereafter. Meaning in the hereafter. Also, the Prophet told her when he said, I, I don't see it except that my death is very close. And he said, You're the first one to reach me. I mean, you're the first one to die after me out of all my family. And she died six months after the Prophet. So now he's telling her. Now that you said, but wouldn't you like in the hereafter, wouldn't you like to be 
the Sayyidah. Sayyidah is like a Sayyid is the one that's in charge of a people. Am I Tarudaina? Aren't you please? The word is Yaruda. Who are Yaruda? Now we want anti Tarudaina. We just have to add a Yamu and the Mukhataba. It's Tarudha, Tarudaina. That, that Alif stays there. Tarudina, Tarudina. Nah. Right, so that's that 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 Kesara is wrong. Because the word is Yaruda, Yarudaina. There's no reason. There's no reason that that would be a Kesara. Because it's it's what's the Mudare? Yaruda. How do we make it to anti? How do you say uh here? Here Taruda. Here Taruda. Now we just have to add and the Mukhatabah anti tarudaina anti tarudaina and i'm glad i make the mistake because i want you to be a hundred percent sure even if there's a mistake that you see within that that's wrong that's written there there's no reason why that would be a catch but the madonna is yellow though nah. there's no reason why that would be a catch okay so that's supposed to be tarudaina how we doing online how are we doing online? Now, you're supposed to be that convinced with the huruf al illa that you know it. That had to be a fact that had to be a guess what? There's no doubt about it. Because it's Yaruda. Yaruda. Look at the next one. Uh, if there's no questions on that one, we're going to look at the next one. It's the same word. All the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Qala rahim 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 What's a rahim? The womb. Allah, Allah in this hadith, and on the other hadith, the, the uh, Allah, Allah is speaking to the family womb, the womb itself. It's called the rahim. What's the power for it? وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهَ الَّذِي تَسَاءَلُونَ بِهِ وَالْأَرْحَامِ اتَّقُوا الْأَلْحَامِ اتَّقُوا الْأَرْحَامِ Have caution about the arham, the rahm, family ties. The rahm is the thing that ties families together. I mean, everything that comes out of that womb, they're, they're, they're family. They're family. Now, Allah is talking to rahm. Allah says, أَمَا تَرُدَيْنِ an asl man wasalak wa aqta'u man qata'ak qalat bala ma man hada ghalib ama tardain listen the rahm is mu'annath that's why it's mu'annath mukhataba the word is mu'annath the meaning of it ama tardain pass the microphone over to ghalib ama tardain an asila Man wasalaki wa aqta'u man qata'aki qalat bala. No, not arrive. Asil. What does asil mean? Right, what does wasal mean? Like, it, to arrive is just like within the meaning of wasala, which means to connect. Wasala is to connect to things. Like, you're only arriving because you connected there. That's what it means that you've arrived, you've connected yourself there. Right. Or attach to man. Asil man wasalaki. The eye, I, I stay close and attached to the ones that stay close to you. That those that preserve the family tie, I preserve my ties with them. So what do you mean to preserve, to preserve a tie? Like there's a knot there to preserve the tie. Like you keep it attached. That I stay attached to the ones they attached. They, they stay attached to you. I mean the ones who preserve. I preserve my ties with them. Wa akta'u man aki. Akta'u. No, Akta was a Hamza. Akta. I'm not told an Akta.
Yeah, but what does kata'aki mean? Kata'aki. Who's you? Who's he talking to? Right, he's talking to the moon. Whoever breaks your ties, I'm going to break them off. Are you pleased that I stay attached to whoever stay attached to you? Then I cut off whoever cuts off from me? Are you pleased with that? Right, I'm saying yes. I mean, now it's law. It's law. Nah, this is law. This is what Allah said when he made it, the, the created the heavens and the earth. When he created the heavens and the earth, Allah said this, and if you look at the whole hadith, I'm not sure, I'm not, this is the exact wording of the hadith, so you can go back and look at the hadith. And in its entirety, when Allah created the creation, this is what this is the, this is the rule that he made. Whoever preserves the family ties, Allah preserves his ties with them. And whoever cuts the family ties, Allah cuts his ties with them. So family ties is the reason for barakah. Yeah. What is the point? Yarada, yaradayna. We finish. That's the point. And it's supposed to be the fatha. That's the point. Is it I'm on top? Or fatha. 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 Yarada. Taradona. Can't be a dhamma. Mm -mm. Can never be a dhamma. But for ya, dhamma and ya don't get along. They're not going to be together. After uh, what's the last year? Aqta'u. No. Aqta'u min qata'a. It should be Aqta'u. No. No. It should be a fatah on both of them. The one, first one he's talking to Fatima is Ya Mu'annath al Mukhataba. You understand that, Isa? Uh, he's talking to Fatima. The second one, Allah is talking to the womb and it's feminine. Type with this in mind, we're going to stay right on the same PDF. And this is the exact words from the book. And the book, Barakallah Fikram, this is a book, this is page 178, 168, I'm sorry. In the book, this is page 168, but it's right here on our page where we're at on this PDF. But in the book is page 168. In the book is page 168. Fossil. Noon and Niswa, Alif al Ithnain. Noon and Niswa, Alif al Ithnain. Noon and Niswa, Alif al Ithnain. Hukmuhu. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What are we talking about? We're talking about if the alif, then muthanna gets attached to the verb, or a noon in this way gets attached to the verb. What do we do? Before we read anything, before we read anything, walk with me. I imagine this. We have three verbs. Radiya, masha, which goes yamshi, and da'a, which goes to yadu. We have three kinds of verbs. Radiya, Masha da'a. What's the difference between Masha and da'a? Masha, alif maqsura, is really a ya. Da'a, alif mamduda, is really a wa. We have three kinds of verbs. Radia. If we want to say two people radia, we just add an alif. You say radia. It's so easy. Like if it was dahaba, you say dahaba. Radiya, there's nothing to change there. What if it was a noon in this one? You say, Hunna the Habana, right? Hunna Jalasna. Hunna Rad, who are Radiya? Hunna Radina. Nahnu Radina. Hunna Radina. Right? All right. So, when there's a ya there, there's no problem. If there's a ya, well, how are we going to listen? When it's muthanna, radiya, what do we add? We add an aleph, because the aleph shows that it's muthanna, right? So when it's mesha and there's an aleph there, what are we going to do? Mesha. It's a problem, because it ends with an aleph. How can we get an aleph to an aleph? It's mesha. It's a problem. 
I'm supposed to know if you say Masha or you say Masha. Um, and what about if I add a new to it? I would say the habana, I say Mashan, Mashani, Mashani. Like, what, what are you saying? Um, so if it ends with an Aleph, you have to change that Aleph to a Ya. It's going to be Masha Ya. And it's really a Ya, right? Masha Ya. One machine. One machine. I wouldn't. If it was Anna, it would be who I masha Anna Meshaitu. We got to change it, right? Anna Meshaita. So when you add that noon, and this was going to be Huna Meshaina. If it's an Aleph, you have to change it to Aliyah. But if it's if you add in an Aleph and, 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 and if name, and it's a fat, it's an aleph like masha, masha ya. That aleph, masha, masha. That aleph, you're gonna flip it to a ya. And you say masha ya. Let's go to da'a yedu. If it's da'a da yedu, and you say ana da'utu. Hua da'a. Here da'at. Ana da'utu. Anta da'uta. Nahnu da auna, anti da auti, huma da awa, da awa, huwa da a, huwa da a, but huma da awa. That aleph has a chain to a But we already seen the aleph chain to a wa, huwa da a, and da autu, anti da auta. It's not strange. Not strange. I changed it for ana, but nahnu da auna, right? So now, if an aleph comes to it, it's the awa, but not second. Only thing, it's not second, right? The outu second, the outi second. No? But this has to be mutahara. The awa, and if it's noon in this way, it's going to be what? The owner, the owner. Hold on now. That's just in the Maldi. Now. Let's go, listen. When it was Radhiya, we didn't have to do anything. We just put the Aleph. Radhiya. We didn't have anything to do, right? Okay, and when we add the newness, we said Radhina. Now, now it's the Mudori, Yarada. We want Muthanna for Yarada. That Aleph got changed it to Ya, Yarada Yani. Huma Yarada. Is who a Yarada? Huma Yarada Yani. You have to change that Aleph to a Ya. I hope I'm not going too fast or being too wordy. Huwa yaruda. Hiya taruda. Huma yarudayani. That aleph has to get changed. Wa hunna. Huwa yaruda. Wa hunna yarudayina. That aleph has to get changed. You can't say hunna yarudani. Yarudayina. Now let's go to Yemshi. When it was Masha, we had to change it. But when it's Yemshi, we don't have anything to do. Who are Yemshi? Well, who am I? Yemshi Yani. We don't have nothing to change. So when it's one, is in the mouth, you have to change it. One, if it's in the mouth, it's all according. If it's an Aleph, you have to change it. It could be an Aleph in the mouth. It could be an Aleph in the mouth. It comes to the world. But we, we, we're not even looking at it as Maldi or Mudor. If it ends with an Aleph, now we're going to look at it from Haithiyat and Ukur, another aspect. If it ends with an Aleph, Masha, Mashayan. Right? If it ends with an Aleph, Yarada, Yarodayan. If it's an Aleph, it has to be changed to express the Aleph if name or the noon in this one. If it's an Aleph, it got to be changed. If it's Maldi or whether it's Mudor, we deal with Nathis. You understand what I'm saying? They have to support. If it's an Aleph, we can't express the Aleph if name. Except we change that Aleph to a Ya. Masha, Masha Yan. Da'a, Da'awani. But if it's a wow, we don't have anything to change. Say Yadir Uwani. Leave it a wow. Yam Shiyani. Leave it a Ya. Just leave it a Ya. It's all good. No. One is the Aleph, you have to flip it. With that in mind, let's read.
الفعل مضارع ناقص في الفعل مضارع الفعل الناقص في الفعل مضارع that title is not good but we'll just leave it for what it is نون النسوة وعلف الاثنين حكمه الالف في اخر الماضي والمضارع look at that it's very important it's because we're dealing with ناقص the alif, whether it's mildly or mudar, it has to be changed. Al alif fi akhir al mildly, wal mudar, tuqlib ya an. It gets changed to ya. Either tasla bihi noon and this wa alif nay. That's the summary of it. Issa, did you understand that? Look at these words again. No, it's not a tough concept. It's not, it's a, my wording is the only thing that's a tough concept. But this is very easy. And we're going to look. If it's an aleph at the end, masha. Okay. It's the haba. Who is the haba? Huma, the haba. We have to add an aleph to it for muthanna. The haba. Right, when it's masha, there's an aleph. How are we going to add an aleph to an aleph? Oh, well, it's going to be Uptikai Sakinane, and we stuck with the first word. No, shut your head. Yes. Y'all, if you understand what I'm saying. No. Listen to this. Mesha has an aleph, right? And we add an aleph to this aleph, we have Uptikai Sakinane. So when we take one of them, we stuck with the original word. <laughs> we stuck with the original word. So what's the way out? We're going to change that alif to a ya. Did we do this before? Yes, when it was Mwasha, I said Ana Meshaitu. And it was Na'nu, I said Meshaina. We changed it for Ana. When Na'nu Meshaina, Anti Meshaiti, Anta Meshaita. We changed it before. Uh -uh. And now when we need the alif, we have to say Masha Ya. It's really Masha. But well, now we have to say Masha Ya. Aleph. Look at the word Da. Let's work with Da. It's who a Da. What's at the end of it? Aleph. Now, when I, it's like the Haba. When I want to make it more fun, I say the Haba. It's not an Aleph. That's all I have to do. But now the end of this is an Aleph. Da. -a. If I add another Aleph, it's going to be Da. -a. Now I have two sukuns. I have to get rid of one of them. I'm stuck with the first original word. Da. I'm going to put two. I have one aleph at the end. Da. If I add another aleph, I have two sukuns. Now I got to get one of them. I'm still stuck with the original word. Da. And then that was the muthanna. So now I have to change this aleph to a wow. Da a wa. And I changed it to a wa before when I said, who a da a? I said, ana da outu, na hanu da auna, anta da outa, anti da outi. Oh, they changed it to a wa. Yeah. But now it's going to be wa mutaharik. Da a wa. Huma da a wa. Huma da a wa. Huma da a wa ta. Look at now. Let's go back and look at the ruling. Look at the ruling. Hukmuhu al alif fi akhir al madi wal mudar. And this is the hadith we want to look at. If it's an alif, give me an alif at the end of a madi masha. Give me an alif at the end of a of a mudar of a madi daa. Give me an alif at the end of a mudar yarda. Those are alifs. If it's an alif, look what it says. If it's an alif at the end of the mandi omudare, tuklabu yaan. Meaning yarda has to be yarda yani. If it's masha, has to be masha ya. If it's da'a, has to be da'a wa. I think there's a change to a wa instead of a ya in like um, other words. Because if it's an aleph, maqsura, it's really a ya. There is no aleph that's really an aleph in the world. We took that. It's either a ya or it's either a wa. If it's written like an aleph maqsura in the shape of a ya, because it's really a ya. 
is this really I just want to do that. It's a wow. Oh, hold on. Nah. Oh, okay. Nah. Tuklabu ya'an. Either tussle be. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me see. I might need some correction. Yeah, that needs the correction. Okay. Anyway, let's read the examples that we have. Is the tussle be he noon in this one? Or as his name? Nah. That needs that needs correcting. That needs correcting that. Anyway, let's look at what we have here. Who are Mesha? To add a noon in this one, we can't say Mashan. We can't just add a noon this way. We have to change that yah to a what? A yah. Mashana. And if it was not new, we would say Mashana. Yeah. The, the Aleph. We have to change the Aleph to a yah. Bahuma Mashaya. It's really Masha. It's really, they're going to change it to Mashaya. Waqada. It's just like Masha. Qada is just like Masha. Huna Qadayna. If it was Nahnu, we would say Qadayna. If it was Anta, you would say Qadayta. If it was Anti, Qadayti. Bahuma Qadaya. The Mina Aleph. Change it to a Ya. Okay, let's look at this. What comes after that? This is the mudara yansa, but it ends with an alif. This is mudara yansa, but it ends with an alif. Yansaina. So you change that alif to a ya. Wa yansa huma yansayani. You change that alif to a ya. Yaruda is just like Yansa. Yaruda is just like Yansa. Yaruda is just like Yansa. So we have Yuhu Yaruda, Huna Yarudaina. Mahuma Yarudayani. I'm sorry. Mine is Mudari. Mudari has to have the. You know. No, it should be Yansayani. That should be a fatha. Yansayani. That should be a fatha. That should be a fatha. I want us to look at something real quick. Uh, I want you, I, I want us to look at something real quick. I want us to go back to sentence. Number five. Number five, it says, Illa and Yafun. So these words, Yafun. They're going to have the same sound when it's hum wa hunna. You say hum ya'funa wa hunna ya'funa. But when you say hum ya'funa, that's a wawu jama'a wa noon alamat rafil. When you say hunna ya'funa, the only thing added is that noon. But the sound is the same. The sound is the same. It's yafuna. But look, look at this verb here. It says yafuna. What is that noon? Illa and yafuna. What is extra in this verb? Only the noon. Only the noon. But what I said, hum yafuna. Hum yafuna. It will be extra while and the noon. The while will be jama'a. This while is not jama'a. It's the aslu kelima. It's the word yafu. But it's in the same shape. In the same shape. Now, again, Yafuna is suitable. Yarujuna, but Yadiruna is suitable for whom and Hunna. 
We're going to see it in the chart. We're going to see it in the chart. And this is the same thing for what? Like you say, if it was uh, uh, you say, Ante Tadhab, Naam, Wa Anti Tadhabin, Wa Antuma Tadhaban, Wa Antum Tadhabun, Wa Antuna Tadhaban, Tadhaban, right? So, Anti and Antun is going to be the same. You say, Anti Tarudaina, Wa Antuna Tarudaina, as we will see. Let's look at these two sentences here before we go to the chart. Before we go to the chart, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and we're on the uh, end of this PDF, all Allah ta'ala. Allah speaking about these two jannas. Fihima, yani in the both of these jannas. Fihima, yani in both of these jannas. Fihima, aymani, tajiriyani. What do you have? Indic ya Isa. Fihima ainani chajiriyani. What's what does ain mean? What's ain? Al al ain is a river. No. Ain is a river. It has different meanings. It could be I. Or coming river. But the plural is either ayun or ayun. The plural is ayun or ayun. But every ayun that's in the Quran has to do with water. And every ayun in the Quran has to do with the ayun. Allah differentiated in the plural. Every ayun is never the eye that you see with. It's the eye that's a running water. Spring, nah, spring of water. Ain't is a spring of water. And every ayun, if you have that plural, ayun is the eye that you see with. Ain has two plurals, uyun and ayun. When Allah uses uyun, the plural of ain is the running water. And when he uses ayun, it's that. But when you use the word ain, nah, ain is general. It could mean water or it could be the eye. What does this mean now? Fihima in these two genders, Ainani Tajiriyani. What does Ain mean? A spring, not a river. A spring. Right. Ain is a spring. A stream of water that comes out. Well, what does this mean? Fihima Ainani Tajiriyani. Huh? No, fihima. And in, 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 in these two places in Jannah, in it is Ainani Tajiriyani. Two running springs. Two running springs. Tajiriyani. They're running. The word is Tajiri. All we did was add an Araf to it. Tajiriyani. That is what I'm This last sentence here, let's just read the end of this sentence. This end of this I, I shouldn't call it the sentence. This is for the sake of the time. Allah says, Hatta idha kuntum fil fulki. What is the fulk? It's the plural for ships. Right. Kuntum fil fulki wa jarayna bihim. What is that noon? Jarayna bihim. Noon in this woman is a group of ships. It's a group of ships, Jaraina. Jaraina. Meaning, why, 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 what, what does the Mu'annif convey? Why is it Mu'annif? No, not, it's feminine. It's plural. Why? Because it's plural. And we know that you use the Mu'annif to convey that something is plural. All right, with that in mind, let's look at this chart. Well, we're going to let me change the screen. And just look at these charts. The charts is what's going to decide everything. The charts is what's going to make everything clear. 
I want you to read after me. I want you to read after me. Ana raditu. Now you're I'm going to say Ana Yuri. Ana. Nahnu. Anta. Na anti. Raditi. Antuma. Antum. Antuna. Huwa. Hiya. Huma. Radia. Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go back to the top. Every single one has a kasra. Ana, raditu, radina, radita, raditi, raditum, raditum, raditun, radia, 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 whom? What happened to the kasra? You, you just, listen, you have that. Forget the rules. You just have to see common sense. What happened to the uh, the to the castle? What happened to the castle? Why you change to the dhamma? Because while we jama'a got rid of that yeah, and this is what is equ- it's too difficult to say review. Now it's very clear on the chart. You can see it clear as day, right? When we can say Radina, when we say Yuna, what do you say for Huna? Anything. Anything to change? You just add that noon in this word like jalasa, jalasna, the haba, the habana, radia, radina. Finish. Right? Right. Let's go to the mudara. Let's go to the mudara. You I'm gonna read the pronoun. You read. Anna. No, we're doing mudara now. No. Nah, no. Naruda. Anta Taruda Anti Tarudaina Antuma um, Look at these two that Aleph got changed to Ayah. First one is Ya Mu'anif al Mukhataba. That's why. That's a Ya Mu'anif al Mukhataba Anti Tarudaina. Antuma, there was an Aleph there, is Taruda, but when that when when the Muthanna get attached to the Aleph, you have to switch it. Okay. Again, Antuma Tarudayani. Antum Tarudauna. There's no reason to change the Fatha. Tarudauna. Antuna Tarudaina. What is the difference between anti or Antuna? What is the difference between anti or Antuna? But Antunna Tarudaina, that's Jamet. That noon is Niswa. That noon is Niswa. And that Ya is just been changed from an Aleph. Type Tarud, Anti Tarudaina. What's that Ya? Mu'annif al Mukhataba. Fa'il. Anif al Mukhataba. What is the Ya fi Antunna? Munqalib is Munqalib. It's been changed from a Aleph. Look how anti and antunna is the same sound. But that ya and anti is tarudaina las ya wa anif al mukhataba. In the noon is alama tarafa. Antunna tarudaina, that ya was really a aleph, but when the noon and this one got attached to it, we had to switch it. So it's not tarudan. Tarudaina. Let's continue. Huwa yarudan. Was an aleph here with an aleph? Huma, ah, we have to change it. We have to change it because it's, 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 it's an aleph on an aleph. That's an aleph. Who are your daughter? That's an aleph. Here, Taro daughter. That's an aleph. Time for Huma, we need an aleph, but we can't have an aleph and an aleph, and we can't put a we can't put a fat or dama on the aleph. Fat kiss or dama, it, it doesn't attach to. Uh, uh, Aleph is not a Hamza. Uh, Aleph doesn't get a Fatah against the Dhamma, and it only can be a Fatah before it. Uh, Aleph. Okay. Fahuma Yarudayani. Hum Yarudayani. Wahunna Yarudayana. Tayyab. You're going to practice with this one at the house. This empty one on page 170. 
I'm going to practice with that at the house, not now. Let's look at Mesha in 171. Brothers and sisters online, you're with us. But the chart is clear, right? Wow. But the chart is clear. You're saying the teacher is confusing. That's, that's, that's what they're trying to say. Ah, ah, ah. Right. Okay. I take constructive criticism whenever it comes. <laughs> Sorry. Now, here we go. I'm going to read the pronoun. Y'all read the name. We're on the Maldi. Ana Mashaitu. Nahnu Anta Anti Antuma Antum Antuna Hua Hia Tika Asakine Huma Lunda is really Hua Masha is the Aleph there. Now when we said Hia Two sukuns met the aleph and the ta. We got rid of what? We got rid of the aleph. Now, meshaya, we have to have an aleph, and it's already aleph there. We have to flip that to a ya. Meshaya. Hum? Meshaw. Well, hunna? Meshaina. Let's look at the Mubarak. Ana? Mshi. Nahnu, anta, anti, antuma, all the them with a ya. Antum, oh, we need a while with Jamaa. Why is there a dhamma? Ana emshi, nahnu nemshi, anti temshi, anti temshina, antuma temshiani, all have a castle Where does dhamma come from? Why is there a dhamma on the scene? The wow Jamaa came from with and the Kessa and the wild, they don't get along. They don't get along. Chemshiuna. Tamshuna. Guess which? Okay, again, Antum. Tamshuna. What Antuna? So what's the difference between anti Tamshina and Antuna Tamshina? You have to see that. You have to see that. Anti Tamshina. What happened with anti Tamshina? Look. It's anti temshi. There's a ya there. Anti temshina. We have to add a ya, and there's already a ya there. So that ya got dropped. And we have anti temshina. Okay, now let's look at antum antunna temshina. What is extra in antunna temshina? What's extra? Only the noon. Only the noon. For antunna temshina. Only the noon is extra. And Titam Shina, the ya and the noon is extra. Okay. Huwa. Hiya. Huma. Nothing to change. Wahun. Hun. Wahunna. Look at whom Yamshuna. We were familiar with that. This one, you'll work on, you'll do your own practice on your own time. We have one more to do. One more. Aleph Mamduda. Aleph Mamduda. You're read, I'm going to read the pronoun, you'll read it. Anna, we're on page 173. Anna? Nahnu? Anta, anti, antuma, antum, antuna, huwa, hiya, huma, hai. You have to add that while there. And we already had the while before. Tell you. Hum, the fatter stays there. Mahunna, the hum. Sorry, let's look at the Mudara. Ana? Adu. Nahnu? That wow was the original word. The original word. Anta? 
انت اه وي هاد دم 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 ادعو ندعو تدعو الان تدعينا وحابب تو ذا كيف ذا دم وحابب تو ذا دم when the ya and mu'annif and mukhatiba came, we had to drop the wow. So we left with tid'u'ina. Tid'u'ina. Ah, too difficult. So that dhamma got changed to what is equivalent to the ya and mu'annif and mukhatiba. That dhamma, fi, the dhamma that's in ad'u, wa nahnu nad'u, wa anta tad'u. When we get to tid'u'ina, when we have the ya, mu'annif, and mukhatiba, we have a dhamma before it. And the Dhamma can't come before Ya al Mu'anif and Mukhatama. So we have to come with that which is suitable for it. This chart is better than all the words that are in the rules and regulations. But the chart, your mind digests it clearly. Anti, Anti, Tadi'ina. Antuma. So look, look at Anta. Tadi'u. Antuma, Tadi'u. Why? All you did was add an alif. You didn't change anything. Look at anta tadu. Wa antuma tadu. Why? She added a fatta to it. Wa antum tadu na. Wa antun na. Oh, 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 oh. Antum tadu na. The wow is extra. Is jamaa. And the noon is extra alama to rafa. Antunna to the owner, only the noon is extra. Antunna, only the noon is extra. Imagine if the chart is not here and I'm just rambling off at the mouth. It wouldn't help. <laughs> so we have like some good insight. Again, antum to the owner, antum to the owner, the wow is jama'ah. So that makes us drop the original wow, and the noon is alama tarafa. That's my fault. Antunna tadauna, only the noon and this way is extra. Yeah, wait, do you know how long it takes somebody to understand this? Uh, and they don't have a class? Just be sitting there confused. Imagine when he goes to speak. Oh, it just be, I don't know. You know. Hua. Here, whom? 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 Oh, whom? You the owner? The wow is jamaa noon alama to rafa. Whom? You the owner? Only the noon is extra. So they left takes back up to that verb. Illa an yafuna. Allah says illa an yafuna. As they talk about women. The noon, and this was the only thing that's extra. Naam. This is our lesson for the day. You all work on, you have empty charts. You have to go to work. Need to do. Naam. What comes after this is a is is a, it's a tricky topic. What's tomorrow? Don't say Thursday. Tomorrow's Wednesday. Okay. We're gonna have class this week, Wednesday and Thursday. This here is Ism Fa'il. Finakas. Um, we'll deal with this tomorrow. We had a big day today. Inshallah. Well, like I'm saying, we're near the end. When the, this, these guys give me a headache. I never get a headache on all the Ism Fa'il, Sifa Mashabaha, Ism Tadil. And Musta Maful Mutlak. That was my favorite class. You know, I love Maful Mutlak. My hair, I'm telling you, at the end of the day, I'm like, oh, man. Man. I have to come up ways to explain it and run it over and say it a thousand times again. And, but now the chart kind of like something about it. But you got to use it. You got to use it. If we finish the ISM file, we're finished. This last, these, the last question, the uh, section, the examples are so little, you understand what I'm saying? That it's right. right. So it's two kinds. Of, we'll be finishing one day. Right. So I think we'll, we'll finish on Thursday. Tomorrow's Wednesday. We, we'll finish tomorrow. Hopefully.
Logistics. Yeah, it is. But um, yeah, we'll see. Hell, I'll make it easy. I'm drained. This is hard for Illa. That's why they call it have the Illa. <laughs> Not because of that, it's because of the one who's studying gets sick. Time, inshallah, subhanakallah, I'm going to call him off. Uh, uh, uh.